guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I pre poo my hair. As you can see, my hair is a hot mess. Yeah, my hair's not always looking prim and proper. As you can see, this is my hair when I say I'm neglecting my hair, right? So I'm overdue for wash day and I had it up in a bun and I just said to myself, I can't be wearing buns all the time because it's just going to break my hair. It's going to break my edges. It's going to break the perimeter of my hair. So I took the four braids out and then wore a braid out for about two days. And then I put it up into a bun and I just found myself keep going to put it up in a bun instead of washing it. So what I did instead, I just parted it in two and then put it up in these twists just so that I'm not putting it directly in a bun. My ends are being protected by being up in the twists and yeah, so now I'm just gonna show you guys how I pre-poo my hair. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna part my hair off in sections very carefully because I don't like to manipulate my hair much when it's dry because I feel like that's when I get the most breakage. So I'm just gonna start off in that back section. What I'm gonna do first is saturate it with water. So I have my water and my conditioner in this bottle. I put a little bit more conditioner than I usually do if I'm styling my hair, just because I want more conditioner to be in my hair so I can have more slip. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna spray that water in my hair liberally, and I'm also gonna spray my roots. And once I sprayed my hair with that water, I just go ahead and smooth it through my hair. I usually do this part in the shower just because it's easier. I'll probably record it for you guys just so that you can see how I usually do it, not just in a recording setting. And I've got my oil mixture here. This is specifically penetrative oils. So I technically use it for my scalp mostly, but I'm also gonna use it on my strands as well, just so that I can have a little bit of oil in it. I would usually just use coconut oil. You can just use the same oil that you use in your scalp. Usually it's a penetrative oil that you wanna use in your scalp. So I'm just gonna pour as much as I need. So maybe it's up to there. Just like so, and then it's gonna put the cap on. So I'm not using a lot of oil at all, and I'll show you at the end of the video how much I use from this amount. I'm applying that oil on my scalp and also on the strands of my hair. I'll have a little bit more information of what's inside this oil mixture in my hair oil video. I do plan on finishing that video very soon. So if you'd like to see that video, subscribe to my channel. But the oils that are in this mixture are penetrative oils, like I said so it will have really lightweight oils so none of the thick oils so no castor oils in this no grapeseed oil so yeah it's just a mixture of lightweight oils that can penetrate into the hair shaft instead of acting like a sealant like most of the thick oils do and i also have some essential oils in this mixture i think i have rosemary peppermint and lavender i think and all three of these oils have their own individual benefits but those three oils are good for stimulating hair growth which is why i added them to my mixture so yeah i just add that to my scalp and on the ends of my hair and i give my scalp a little bit of a massage just to really work those oils into my scalp and i also do think that the rubbing of the hands heat up the oil in some sort of way which actually might help with the penetration of the oils because as we know the heat opens up the hair cuticles so yeah, just by me smoothing that oil into my hair, it's gonna really help to open up my cuticles and allow all the nutrients from the oils to get into my hair strands. So I'm just gonna start finger detangling my hair and what I'm doing is I'm separating the big clumps of hair and I'm just raking my fingers through the hair without trying to snag my hair at all. And if I do run into any big knots, I just pull the strands one by one to try and loosen up the knot a little bit. And I'm also adding as much water as I need as I go along. And this is why I say it's easier to do in the shower because the water is just literally there. But yeah, I do use a lot of water because my hair is high porosity and it just drinks up all of that water. Like literally, as soon as I spray it in, it just drinks it all up. <laughs> So if you are familiar with my channel, you'll see that I don't ever brush my hair while it's dry. And this is definitely a tip that I do recommend is to not brush your hair while it's dry. So with the pre-poo step in my wash day routine, this allows me to detangle my hair before washing it so it doesn't develop even more tangles. And also to begin to provide my hair with all the nourishment and care that it needs from my wash day. 
I like to use leave-in conditioners or the conditioner that I use to condition my hair when I'm washing it because the ingredients are similar and also a lot of them do have ingredients in them that allow quick drying so yeah it doesn't really matter what conditioner you use you're gonna wash it out anyway I just like to use something that has a lot of slip so that I'm able to finger detangle my hair easier this does take quite some time as well. I think the whole routine took me about 45 minutes to an hour. And I think that's partly due to the fact that I wasn't in the shower. Because in the shower, it doesn't take me that long to do. So yeah, I definitely do recommend to do this part in the shower. It's just quick and easy. And, you know, you can get the moisture level that you're looking for. Instead of having to keep spraying it over and over and over again. But I also don't want my hair to be too wet because it's just going to take a long time to dry and I don't want to keep my hair wet for too long. So I'm just looking for my hair to be damp enough to be able to run my fingers through it basically. Also I'm applying a little bit more oil to the ends of my hair because as you know the ends need the most help because <laughs> they're the oldest part of your hair. And once I'm done with the section I just go ahead and twist it up so it doesn't get tangled again. So that's one section done and my scalp is feeling really good and nice and tingly and also I'm just going to rub my scalp a little bit just to massage those oils into my scalp and I also spray my scalp first before I add the oil because I just feel like the oils penetrate better and I know that sounds a bit weird because water and oil don't mix but for some reason when my hair is damp or when my scalp's damp, the oils penetrate a lot better and my hair feels a lot better for it as well. And even on my skin really as well. Because when my skin's wet and I come out the shower and I apply oil direct to my skin, it works way better than when I try to apply oil on my dry skin. So yeah, it must be the same for my hair. Tell me what you think about that because there's a lot of talk in the natural hair community at the moment about water and oil not mixing and that's the reason why you shouldn't add oil to your routine or whatever i think i'm over that topic now because i've tried it for myself and i realized that you know what my hair just thrives with oil and even the other day i did a twist out with no oil and i hated it and then i repeated the same hairstyle the following week and use my oil instead and the hairstyle came out amazing but yeah so i'm just continuing to do that whole process throughout the whole of my hair i will spray my hair with the water and conditioner saturate my hair as much as i can apply the oil to my scalp apply the oil to my strands and then finger to tangle very carefully as i said if i run into a knot in my hair i just literally separate it strand by strand just tr really try to get the knot out of the hair before I continue and I also do get my hair quite detangled doing this routine as well so it is really effective but also I don't recommend you do this when your hair's in a twist out or a braid out because I tried it last week and it was just not working out for me like I couldn't detangle my hair at all the hair was just set in that way and I just found it really difficult to detangle my hair so in that case I just wash my hair normally and just wetting it and detangle it while I have the conditioner or the deep conditioner in my hair but yeah, it's pretty simple. It's not too difficult to do. It takes a little bit of time, as I said. So make sure you just, you know, have enough time to do it. So you're not rushing to detangle your hair and really giving your hair that patience that it needs to be able to detangle it properly without breaking it. Ideally, I like to do it the day before when I know that I'm not doing anything in the evening and then the following day where I have wash day. I don't usually have anything planned. Yeah, but sometimes it doesn't work like that. Sometimes you just need to do your hair really quickly. So yeah, I'll just pre-poo it and then wash it straight away. But the main thing here is to make sure that my hair is detangled before I go ahead and do my wash day. And I found that when I do my wash day, obviously there is a lot less shedding, but it makes the wash day go a lot quicker. My wash days definitely are a lot longer when I don't pre-poo. Just because, you know, you can be standing in the shower for ages just detangling your hair. Especially if you get it in a really, really bad way. <laughs> Which does happen to me sometimes. But yeah, the main thing is to be very, very gentle when detangling your hair. Also, if you do have thicker hair than mine, then you're going to have to take even more care and be even more gentle with your hair. And if you have finer hair, you might actually find this quite difficult to do. Because I do find it quite difficult to do that with my son's hair, my two-year-old. His hair is very fine, 
and although I find his hair quite easy to detangle I actually find that it's quite difficult to finger detangle his hair and it causes him a lot more pain when I try to finger detangle it so I don't have much knowledge on how fine hair works but I'm learning through my son's hair And now that all the twists are done, I just go ahead and massage my scalp a little bit more because the tinkling sensation from the peppermint in my oil is making my scalp feel really, really good and I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> so I just massage that in my hair a little bit and here I'm just showing you guys how much fallout I have. Right, so that's all my hair done now, nice and detangled and it's feeling very nice and soft. So what I usually do is I'll just leave my hair like this until I'm ready to wash it. Sometimes it's the next day, sometimes it's a few hours. Um, it just depends on what I'm doing in a day. But just be warned that if you do sleep with it in your hair, your pillows probably will get a bit greasy. So you're probably gonna have to double wrap your hair or something like that. So I'm just gonna follow up and do my quick wash day routine. I do have that up on my channel now, so you can watch that video if you like. But I'm gonna deep condition for a bit longer this week because I didn't deep condition for that long last week. Last week I only deep conditioned for like 15 minutes, but I'm gonna actually uh, apply heat this week. And then I'm gonna do a twist out using the Camille Rose Almond Jai Twist and Butter, just to see if those products are really good for twist outs or not so yeah if you'd like to see that video it will be up next week so don't forget to subscribe to my channel but yeah if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one bye